Hi, my name is Miranda. I'm here with Thomas. We're going to teach you today how to update a translation memory using a pre-translated document. Um, so as you can see here, we have, um, we have a translation memory that has been updated from previous projects, and we're just going to add to it using um, a document that we have available in English and Spanish. Uh, this is a pretty quick and easy project, and we're going to teach you how to do that today. So you're going to go ahead and start off by opening up SD El Trato Studio. Um, you're going to go ahead and click on Align Documents, Align Single File Pair. And from there, we're going to go ahead and add file-based translation memory. This is the same exact one that I showed you earlier, which we will be updating. Go ahead and click Open. And then Source File, you can choose whether you want it to be from Spanish to English or from English to Spanish. We're going to go ahead and go from English to Spanish today. So there's the copy in English. We're going to go ahead and add on the one that's in Spanish. We have these documents saved under Downloads. There you are. We're going to go ahead and click Finish. Now Thomas is going to go ahead and show you on how to align those documents. Hello everyone. Um, so as you can see here, we have the uh, translation or the alignment interface set up with for us. Uh, on the left we have English and on the right we have Spanish. Um, each segment is numbered and Trados guessed about you know which ones were already aligned and so we're just going to confirm all of those. So we're going to go ahead and click on one in English and one in Spanish and see if those match up. It reads safety and development in the Americas. In Spanish, Seguridad y Desarrollo en las Américas. Okay, that sounds pretty good to me. So we're going to go ahead and click Confirm right here. And you'll notice that the dashed line turned into a solid line. And that means it is, um, it is confirmed. And so we could do it, you know, each individually uh, with every segment. But if we're fairly sure that they're already aligned, then we can go ahead and click Confirm All. And that'll turn all of them into a green solid line and that's when you know your alignment is ready to go and ready to be imported into the translation memory. So to do that we're going to go over here import into translation memory. I'm going to click quick import and then it says import completely completed successfully 11 out of 11 alignment pairs added to the translation memory. So I'm going to click OK and then if we go to our documents we're going to notice that our translation memory increased in size just a little bit and that's because we added these 11 segments there. And that's how we know that our translation memory has been updated.